In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use CSS and HTML to create a climb button just like this. Okay, when you hover around the buttons, you have the background colors changing. So we are going to achieve this right away using CSS and HTML. Uh, to commence, I'm going to take this out. I'm also going to take this out okay so let's begin first i'm going to save this once more index.htm saving it on the desktop so i'm going to hit save and we have it here okay so let's begin so first i'm going to define the document type so I'm going to say doc type HTML. Okay. Next we have our HTML tag. And right after it we have our head tag. Okay. So next we're going to define our meta type, the meta name content. And to do that, I'm just going to simply say meta name is equal to viewport. And content is equal to width. Is equal to device width. Okay, and the initial scale is one, so I'm going to say initial scale equal to one. Okay, so next we're going to introduce our styling proper, so style tag, style. The first is our button, so we'll define a class, we'll call it BTN. Okay, so first I'm going to define the border. So the border two pixel solid black. Okay, um, background color by default. I need a white background, so I'm going to say background. This is background color, white. Okay, next the font color by default should be black. So the font color, black. Padding, 14 pixel by 28 pixel. The font size sixteen pixel and the cursor style should be pointer okay so next we're going to style the various buttons first I'm going to begin with um the first I call the success button, so we'll say dot success. So in this case we're gonna give it a border color. So the border color um should be green. So I'm going to do this. do a quick edit okay I need a very uh, I need it to be dark okay I think I'm okay with this okay that's for the border color and the color should be green that's the font color should be green so I'm going to say color 
green and next i'm going to define the hover property for the success button and to do that i i'm going to um, do this i'll say dot success over okay i'm going to copy this i'm pasting it here but i'm going to change this to background color okay for the hover of course i'm going to change it i'm going to use um the font color is going to change so i'm going to okay i'm going to leave it at this should still be green but the color here should be white okay the color should be white on hover on hover it should be white okay so i'm going to move to the next button which is the info button and to do that i can quickly copy this copy it up to this point okay copy it to this point come down here paste it okay i'm just going to quickly edit this for the second button which is going to be um the info info whoever have success i change it to info okay i'm going to change the color the color is going to be um blue so i'll quickly edit this move this up i need a blue color okay watch it change here okay so that you know what okay so i'm okay with this i'm also going to copy that and i'll paste it here take one of these out okay um this is going to be blue okay i need it to be blue of preferably dogger blue so i'm going to say dodger blue Okay, I think I'm okay with this. Dodger blue. Okay, for the background, I have similar background. This is blue. Okay, on hover, give me a background color blue, and also the font color should be white. Okay, fine. So I'm done with this button. I'm going to move to the next button. Give some space. So I'm going to copy this from this point. okay right to this point paste it here remember we're working on the third button and we're going to call this uh, the warning button so i'm going to change this call it warning change this to warning and for the warning button we're going to use um orange i'm going to use orange for um the color okay so i'm going to quickly edit this i'm going to say quick edit okay i need orange as a border color so i'm okay with this on hover it will also give me this color so i'm going to copy this and i'll paste it here okay fine so on hover the background color should be orange okay the font color here should be orange okay and the font color here should be white so we are fine here so i'm still going to copy this from this point copy it for the next button okay and for the next button uh we call it our danger button which is going to be red so i'm going to quickly change this I'll call it danger 
and whether I have warning or change it to danger okay and um, the border color should be red so I'm going to do a quick edit quick edit I need it to be red I think I'm okay with this so I'm going to copy this the background color on hover should be red so I'm going to change this okay I have a red color here so the font color for danger when the border color is red the font color should be white so I'm going to change this to white okay it should be white so rather it should be red okay it should be red and here it should be white okay when it is red and give me a white font color when the border color is red also give me a font color red okay so we are done with the danger button so we are going to go to the last uh, button styling it um, we'll call it the default button so I'm also going to copy this content to this point I'll copy it I'm going to paste it here okay I'll call it the default default okay and here it should be default okay the border color uh, I'm going to quickly edit this I want it to be gray I'm okay with this okay the border color should be gray and when it is gray I need the font color to be black so I'm going to change this to black okay um when we hover around this I want the color to also change to this color I'm going to copy this paste it here okay and I want the um, I want it to be white here okay okay so fine we are done with styling our buttons um, respectively so I'm going to uh, bring this closer okay and the next we are going to bring in our HTML content so to quickly do that i'm going to commence by introducing the body tag i'm going to say body okay so i'm going to have this tag or the header i'm going to call it outline buttons okay so i'm going to bring in the buttons proper First, I'm going to bring say button and the class just like we've defined it above uh, quickly I'm going to say btn which is and success okay so I'm going to do this quickly and I'll call it success okay so we are fine here so all we need to do is to quickly copy this and edit for the respective buttons so i'm going to paste this here and uh, the only thing i'm going to do is to change the content here i'll call it info just like we've defined it above and i'll call this info okay so i'm going to bring in the next button and uh, we called it warning button so i'm going to say warning and here i'm going to say warning okay and after that we have the danger button so i'm going to go down here paste it and i will quickly edit this i'll call it danger and here edit this I'll call it danger fine we are almost there so the last here i'm going to bring in the default button which is our last button we'll call it default and here i'm going to change it to default okay so close our body here give it a bit, little bit of space okay I'll bring this up up fine 
so i'm going to quickly save this i'll say save okay so let's bring it up and see what we have okay so guys so this is what we have here we have our various buttons with their outlines the border color and once we hover around this we have them changing to the respective colors okay so this is how you go about designing the outline buttons using css as we have it here and html okay so i'm going to see you in my next video bye